What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about one of the most requested jump shot base so far, Jared Culver Base. One of the main reasons why many players want to see it is because the animation is exactly the same as T-Mac Base, which is at the top of the list so far. So many players are wondering, are they exactly the same in terms of stats as well? Because if it does, then it's going to be a big thing because the requirements for this one is really low compared to T-Mac Base. And by the way, thank you guys for all the support in this series, especially for those of you who give recommendations because it keeps the series going, like it puts some narrative on these episodes, so it would be really awesome if you guys can do the same on this video. Please like and leave any recommendation for a topic. So let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know how this jump shot series works, basically every video I'll be covering a specific base release and I will cross compare to the others that I already covered. In this way, we can build those charts up video per video. There will be lots of elements that will be covered in this one, which is not included on the 2K charts, like front challenge, side drift, and visual comparisons. So now for the first part, since many players are noticing that they're exactly the same animations, let's have a quick side-by-side -side comparison, and here you can see, yes, on every part of the animation, they're exactly the same. Now the question is, does that mean that their stats will be the same as well? So now for the first one, in terms of shot speed, T-Mac is still faster. And to give you a visual perspective, here we go. So now I might say, uh, Chutes, why on that side-by-side -side comparison, it looks like their speeds were the same? I know what you mean, but shot speeds are not factored in on that demo. So just ignore shot speeds on that part. And now for the next one, the side drift. For those of you who don't know what side drift is, that's the sideway movement that a jump shot does when you shoot. And this one here is not just cosmetics, because it will actually affect coverage. And here you can see, it's right there next to T-Mac, which makes sense because they are exactly the same animations. Maybe the shot speed part made the difference. And by the way, side drift stat is kinda subjective. Maybe some of you guys want your jump shots to drift on one side so you can exploit it. And some of you might want a more stable base because based on my experience, the more side drift the jump shot has, the harder to track the visual cue. So it's really up to you how you want to treat this chart here. And now for the most important part, the challenge reduction. For me personally, it's the most important element because it factors in a lot of things. Like our shot speed, release height, front drift which is the forward motion of your base, defensive immunity and some other stuff. And now for the results, and here you can see it's right there at the second place so far, next to who else? T-Mac base, which makes total sense. And to put more sense to it, like why it's really high in the list, I think you guys already know this, it's the same animation as T-Mac base, which is leaning back which avoids a lot of contest. If only the shot speed is much faster, it could be closer to T-Mac. So in summary, Culver is a really nice base, I can even flag it as the best base so far because it's pretty much the same as T-Mac but with lower requirements. The bad thing about it though is the shot speed is really slow, so if you got used to faster shots, then adjusting to this base could be an issue at first. But keep in mind though, in terms of challenge reduction, it doesn't matter if it's slow because it'll still give you a good challenge reduction and it's top 2 so far. So again, please let me know in the comment section what you think about it and please leave any recommendation for a topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.